last tutorial we learned how to create a web application without web.xml since java EVA specification allows us to do so currently we will be learning about more things that we use normally to configure with web.xml at the first point of time that currently we will be learning web listeners so before we do so let us know what web listeners do normally web listeners as the name suggests listens they listen events. Events could be of different different kinds. So let us look at the listeners which Java E application provides us. If you see, these are the interfaces which are actually implemented by Java E. All of them are actually from long back, but there is, I guess, the Java servlet async listener is a new one. Despite of all these things. I mean currently we do not have web.xml so we will be configuring these listeners through annotations. So let us start the first one servlet context listener. So currently we will be learning how to configure servlet context listener. In order to do so let us create class. In resource we will be creating a class. This is the same code from our previous project. Let us name it app servlet context. And we'll change the package to listeners. So now we do have a class which, uh, which is name as app servlet context listener. To start with, the first step to do is to annotate it with web listeners. This will enable the applications to understand that this is a listener and you need to listen it on occurrence of events. Since this is servlet context listener, we are trying to create a servlet context listener. So we will implement Sorry, this class, the interface. You can see there is servlet context listener. The time we do that, we will see that there will be some methods which we need to implement. So what we do, we'll add those unimplemented methods and we'll see there are two methods which are coming to us. One is context destroyed and another is context initialized. The first one, as the name suggests, will run on the event of destroying of the context so let us make uh, let us see how can we actually utilize this we'll write a simple print ln statement here and here we go we'll write context destroyed same for context initialize so what will happen when we do that since there as we all know there is only one context per application per web application that you create so this particular event is when you start or stop the server when you start the server your context will be initialized and when you stop the server context is destroyed so that means this uh, particular block of code Will be running when we start the server and stop the server so how can you utilize it further you can actually have many things that you can do with it for example you need to create a database connection that you want to remember throughout the application life cycle you can create it and put it under servlet context if you want to do that what you need to do is to take a servlet context object and get the current context so you can take it from the event and see there is a context and you can do whatever you use to do with context normal context object so if you see this you will see so many things are there add filters listeners so many things 
all you need to do for example if you want to create uh, the most common I thing is that you will be creating some what we say I mean um, you will be adding some attributes to it so there is a set attribute so you can set some attributes as you wish so we'll be learning this also in our further tutorial for now we will be only seeing this our context is being initialized and destroyed when we do so so let's see this so now what we'll do we'll run this um, on the server so before we do that let's see if we have done everything correctly uh, we have initialized a web listener we do have contracts initialized and destroyed and we have annotated it i think it's perfect so let's see if it does it run or not so we will be seeing it on our console that these ports are running so let's see that So when the server runs, context initialized should have been there. I guess it is running as expected. So if you go on console, you will see that context initialized is there. So now let's close the server and see if your context destroyed is running or not. And we are stopping it. Going back to console. Let's see. Now you can see context destroyed has also ran so while stopping the Catalina services that means Tomcat this particular thing has happened. Awesome. Cross the lines from